Welcome back guys, no intro today. Phoenix Trifecta Light 903, Lucky Craft Flashman 0110, Daiwa Fuego LT, this is a 2500, 30 pound braid, 15 pound fluorocarbon leader. And uh, no intro because we're in a rush here. Um, we're right in the middle of where I, when I want to start fishing. I'm fishing also today with my friend Jason, who I went to Belize with. But this fall fishing so far, one thing that I've learned, uh, you got to go slow and steady. Real, real slow retrieve seems to be the trick. And also, for the past couple of sessions, finding clean water is also very, very important. And I can already tell right now, I'm not going to give it another cast um, into an area that seems very, very nice because there's grass all over the place. So we're going to move. Let's try to find some cleaner water. See if we can find some fish swimming around through here. This is just a fishing episode, guys. We're gonna fish and try to catch. I was hoping it'd be a little bit calmer. It's not too bad, man. Uh, water's still a little bit dirty. I walked about, you know, maybe 15 feet south, but we're gonna try to get away from the south and try to find some cleaner water. Yeah, the water's too dirty. Now look at this. We're gonna find cleaner water. I'm not gonna bother. guys we just walked uh maybe about half a mile three quarters of a mile in search of cleaner water it's uh and it still looks dirty here darn it but man to be honest with you guys i'm casting every time and coming back with the eel grass it's not that fun you know but it looks like there's a little drop off here uh still looks dirty man so we'll see how it goes see if anything's swimming through can't catch if you're not casting oh that felt like a bite maybe not Wishing, wishing it was a bite. I think it was just grabbing on some grass there, my hook. Fish on! Fish on, guys! Oh, baby! So I didn't say to the camera, but I saw something jumping out there and it was way past my um, casting distance, but um, I, it gave me some hope. So um, I gave it as far of a cast as I could and this thing thumped, man. We're fishing deep, dirty, dirty water, but real, real nice structure. So if something, um, oh boy, this is a decent fish. I don't think it's a huge fish, but it's decent. We'll see if we can land it. It feels like a halibut, guys. That's a little bit bigger size, I think. We'll see, it's not a ray. Keep the line tight and just move them back and use the waves. You gotta use the waves to your advantage, guys. Um, but man, this thing hit and it's so good to feel, oh, it's a halibut. It's so good to feel a thump and we'll see how big it is. It felt like a decent fish. Um, it doesn't feel like a small one. Oh yeah, that's illegal. Gotta be patient. This one could pop out of its mouth, guys, so we gotta be really patient with them. But that's a legal halibut. Ah, uh, maybe not illegal. Maybe not illegal. Yes, sir. Yeah, legal. All right, guys. First, howl first legal halibut in a long time. And uh, 23 inches on the Lucky Craft Flash Minnow 110. Let's go to quick release. It's been out of the water long enough. Just wanted to get a measure. 23 inches, good size halibut, guys. And uh, we'll get the release. All right, guys, so I uh, just got my first legal halibut in a long time. A uh, little 23 inch, barely legal. Uh, we got a release on them, but um, super, super grateful. Uh, just goes to show you, uh, you gotta make adjustments. Shoot, man, it was all salad. It felt like it was gonna skunk today. Slow roll, and uh, the biggest one here is if 
just don't be afraid to make changes. I'm close to a mile away from where I was planning on fishing today. If things aren't working out the way uh, you were planning and the way you wanted, uh, move. And uh, super, 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 super stoked and grateful to uh, catch a fish and just enjoy the great outdoors, man. So we're gonna try to get some more. Thanks so much, guys. Tight lines, let's go. Tell you what, um, Oh, fish on! Oh, it's a good fish! Oh, dude! Oh, it's a, good, it's a good fish, guys. He's shaking his head like crazy. Oh my gosh. Oh! Woo! It's another decent fish, man. I don't know if it's a halibut or something else. It feels like a halibut, to be honest with you, but it's not a small one again. It might be a borderline legal. He's coming in now. Um, the head shakes feel like a halibut, but we'll see. The bite felt like a halibut. He's moving in now like a wet trash bag, so that's what I'm assuming, but the weight on him feels like maybe another legal, guys. Yeah, he's got decent weight on him. Can't tell, yeah, 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 yeah. It's another decent, maybe borderline legal halibut. Can't keep them straight, but that's illegal on the dot. 22 um, with a conservative measure. Super, super stoked, guys. I think this is the first time I've caught two legals in one session. So a uh, double legal, guys, on the Lucky Craft Flash Minnow 110. We're gonna go ahead and keep this one, guys. It's barely legal, but it is a solid legal. So we're gonna keep them. I'm gonna feed my family with it, and uh, we'll go ahead and bleed this guy out right now, but oh my goodness. All right, guys. That's two legal, slow rolling Lucky Craft on the uh, Lucky Craft Flash Minnow 110, the Phoenix Trifecta Light, 903 medium light. Uh, let's try to get a trifecta. Let's see if we can get three. Wouldn't that be crazy? Let's see if we can make it happen. Let's go. All right, guys, that just about wraps up our session. We caught two legal halibuts. We released the first one, kept the second one. We're gonna go home and do a catch and cook. So come on along for the ride. Let's go, see you at home. All right, welcome back, guys. Uh, we got here a barely legal uh, 22 inch halibut. Uh, I filleted a few halibut, but I'm still really, really not good at this. But let's go ahead and start by going straight down. So I'm just running it straight through and I can feel the, uh, the spine of the halibut and that's what you want to do. And I don't know if you can hear those, that running over. And uh, I'm going to point the knife downward and just feel for the spine as your guide. All right, so um, this is our first halib halibut filet. This part right here is the ngawa. So it's not a lot of meat, but we'll, we might consider eating that as hashimi. And it's uh, the really good tasting part of the, part of the meat. The first part is getting that first filet off. And after that, it's a lot easier because um, now you have a little bit more to work with. And we're just gonna do smooth strokes with a slightly downward angle. I'm gonna come right through and that's actually, might be the best fillet job I've, I've ever done, which is not saying much.
so we are, these are my test subjects. <laughs> Hello. Alright, so this is my son Charlie, and this is my daughter Amelia, and if you've seen them in older videos, you've noticed they've really, really grown up a lot. Here's the ceviche that I made just a little while ago. As you see, the lime juice has cooked up the fresh halibut nice and white. And we got a little bit of a little sashimi appetizer. And this is the engawa. How about we start with the sashimi appetizer? Okay. And you can tell me what you think. So Emilia wants to grab a piece. Emilia's gonna grab a piece. Do you want some soy sauce or no? You're just mm. gonna take it straight. Amelia loves her sushi. Mmm, chewy. Chewy. Mm -hmm. And you know kids can't lie. And um, so if it wasn't good, she she would say so. You wanna try the sashimi, Charlie? Mm -hmm. All right, Charlie's gonna try a piece. And we're just using straight up our hands. Good. You like it? I mean, you don't have to like it because this is just this is real stuff. So it's really chewy. It's chewy. Yeah, that's that's halibut. It's a little bit on the chewier side. So I'm gonna tr let me try a piece of this. I'm gonna try a little. Um, yeah, we're gonna try a little loin piece. We're gonna dip it just a little bit in the soy sauce. Just a little bit. Cheers, crazy. Cheers. That's really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's really, really good. So um, the sashimi is a hit. So you guys gonna chew on that after we stop filming? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's pretty, oh, it's, it's filled with flavor. That's, I'm actually really impressed with the taste of that. Oh my gosh, that, the flavor of that fish keeps going and going and going. Mm -hmm. It's still in my mouth. It's very, very tasty. I'm a novice when it comes to um, ceviche. This is only like maybe my third time making it. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. But we're gonna do a little taste test here with uh, Amelia and Charlie. So go ahead. We got a little tostada there, so you can Ooh. break it off. You guys can both go at the same time if you'd like. Okay. And you just kind of use it as a chip, and you want to dip in there and get a healthy portion of fish and cucumber, tomato, and you can also eat it with a little piece of avocado. And I cut up an avocado for them, and they just came back from school. Mm eating school lunch, so this is going to be... Mmm. Mmm. What do you say? Lots of flavor. Lots of flavor. Can you describe any of the flavors that you taste? It's really tart and lemony, and the avocado makes it really good too. Yeah. How does, how's the fish? It's really good. Yeah. Can you describe the texture at all? Is it soft? Is it it's chewy? It's chewy like a sashimi. Chewy like sashimi, but it's really tasty. Yes. Any fishy flavor at all? Mm -mm. No, nice and clean. What do you think, Char? It is good. Good. You approve? Mm -hmm. Charlie approve? Awesome, man. So this is just from the legal halibut that I caught yesterday. We reported, prepared it this morning. And uh, we are we are so grateful because the ocean provides. Mm -hmm. You know, we went out there. You know, I don't, I do a lot of catch and release, but um, halibut, um, I do like to keep illegal from time to time. And I haven't really been halibut fishing that much this year. So, all right, guys. Hey, appreciate every one of you guys. Thank you so much. And until the next one, tight lines.